Hello, I'm Dean Karstens, and this is Dean's N Scale Trains. Today, nothing makes a model railroad come to life like roads and places to put your buildings. So, today I'm going to show you how I made the roads and the foundations and sidewalks for the buildings throughout my Conejos Valley Railroad using Woodland Scenic Smooth It and their road tape. So here are the final results. The road basically is finished. The raised areas for the foundations and the sidewalks are done. Things I have to do to complete this, build a bridge across the river and roads over here, eventually to the eventual mine here. In this area, I wanna put in an engine house and have a road going to that and its foundation. Finish the roads across here. And finally, paint and stripe everything. All of this I'm going to handle in, in the next video. The first thing we need to do is to pick our buildings and where we want to locate them. This is what I came up with using buildings I already had on hand. Next, you want to mark off where you want your roads and sidewalks to be. I made the sidewalks a quarter inch wide and the roads, the main roads, two and a quarter inches side roads a little bit less, two inches. Here are the final lines as I drew them out. Next I cut and laid down the Woodland Scenic road tape, making sure that I put them outside the lines I had drawn for the uh, roads. So I laid down a second layer of the paving tape to make it a little bit thicker. Now I'm going to put down some masking tape to protect the outsides. You may wonder why these inner tapes, tape was laid down on the inner parts. That's so when I smooth it, I don't have a very wide area. So I'll just do a small section at a time. Then when the initial pour dries, I'll pull this up and fill these up. So now I'm gonna put down my masking tape. Here's how it looks with all the masking tape down. Note that I covered up all adjacent track and scenery so it wouldn't be messed up if I dropped some of the wet smooth it. Next comes the, the fun part. I mixed up some smooth it using two parts of the powder to one part of water, mixed it until it was homogeneous, and then I smoothed it out as best I could. When done, I let it dry overnight. Here's what it looked like when dry. I pulled up all the paving tape. Then I put back all the buildings to double check my sizes. The next step will be to smooth down all the flat road surfaces. A metal plate such as this is great for general smoothing. It really takes down the powder. Or a sanding block. I just attach sandpaper to a wooden block. A shop vac. Sharp knife. But you have to be careful you don't go too far. And then a uh, sanding block to smooth up the edge. Point. After good vacuuming, I water it down to help control the dust. And do the final finishing with um, 
joint compound. At this point, I've sanded down all the road areas, got them as flat as I could. And I'm ready to add sidewalks in the downtown area. So that I didn't have to use too much paving tape, I put down some sticks. I cut some sticks, basically the thickness of of two, two levels, two layers of paving tape. Put them down here, 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 and here, here, and here to build up the areas. Then I put down one layer of paving tape here to define the, the sidewalk, the raised sidewalk and level, level place for the uh, buildings. And I'm gonna do the same thing over here. This particular area, it turns out, was a little bit slopey. I think maybe the masonite board warped somewhat. So what I did was I took a stick and sanded it into a taper so it fits there. So this is the same height as one paving tape. This is the same height as down here. And I'm gonna glue this down as I did here, everywhere else with Elmer's glue, which I'm hoping will be a little bit forgiving. And that I can pry it up. I don't think it's gonna stick very well to everything. I've tried prying them up here and it comes up okay with a little bit of damage to the, uh, to the scenery layer, which will have to be redone anyway. So I put on a very thick coat of this of Elmer's. You see, I've marked where I want to put this. Put it down. Now I'm gonna use a level as a weight. That should give a nice straight level. Now here, this is built up one level, one layer. I'm gonna build this up another layer. And this is already built up one layer higher than the first pour. Put down more masking tape. Mix more smooth it as before. And wet it lightly with water.
Then I sanded with a large and a small sanding block. I pulled up the outside strips a little bit too fast. It wasn't quite dry, so I had some damage. Then I repaired the broken edges as before with joint compound. And I did some final sanding with my small sanding block. So there it is with the building set in the proper places. The road is done. The raised areas for the buildings are done. Things I have to do to complete the roads, build the bridge, build a bridge across the river and roads here to the eventual eventual mine finish this road across here i'm going to put an engine house here and i'll need a road and a foundation for that as you can see these roads and side rocks really improve the look of my model railroad the next video in this series in addition to adding the pieces of roads as i indicated before i'll be painting and striping everything and then it'll really really look good as always, if you like my videos, please give me a thumbs up. And if you want to, subscribe to my channel, Deans and Scale Trains. Thanks for watching.